SIRS is an attempt to create a building that's regenerative and restorative and that actually makes the environment better uh, because it exists. So we're building a building that will reduce the energy use on campus by, by, by our existence, that will reduce carbon emissions, that will sequester more carbon than uh, it takes to build the building or decommission at the end of its life. And we want to live within the means of the uh, flows on site. Can we build a building that actually reduces the energy use of the campus it's on, that actually reduces carbon emissions, that makes water quality better uh, on the campus and so on, at no extra cost relative to conventional practice, and then study it to death. What, what are all the features of that building? What works and what doesn't? How do we take that learning and get it out into the marketplace? If you think of the major flows, much of the uh, heating will come from the ground or from next door, the heat scavenging from next door, much of the ventilation from the wind, a uh, big part of the electricity from the sun, um, uh, and uh, so that means a building that lives within the natural flows of the environment. And in general, the, the old agenda used to be to reduce emissions, to make things less bad. The new agenda, I think, environmentally, is to improve things. The building should make the environment better. Adding a building should improve environmental quality, not just make it less bad. It should also improve human quality of life make people healthier, happier, and more productive. Clearly, you can do anything you want in a building if you spend enough money. So gold-plated sustainability is always possible, but it's not very useful to anybody else. Nobody else can afford to do it. So from the beginning, one of our design criteria, in addition to all the sustainability goals, uh, was to keep the cost down. These things have momentum. So sometimes it's all about that, you know, that sort of tipping point of creating an awareness that it's possible, um, and then a the snowball effect comes into play. It's going to take uh, you know, a fair bit of effort. We're going to have to work at this, but it is achievable. I'm not a doom, I don't believe in the doom and gloom school of thought that uh, it's all over bar the shouting. Uh, I think a sustainable world is, is within our reach.